in this video, I'm going to show you how to get really good pressure against the trip side information in Madden 22. I'll walk you through this step by step, and by the end of the video, you're going to be able to get pressure against trip side in, even if they block out of play action, even if they block their running back. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the big nickel over G defense. You can find this in the 4 6 playbook. You can also find this in the Giants playbook. And this is my favorite defense in the game right now. I think it's the best defense. It has so much that you can do from a pressure concept, pressure perspective, to be able to pretty much guarantee that you're going to be able to consistently get pressure on the quarterback. If you want to get my full Big Nickel Over G defensive ebook, I'm going to put a link in the description down below to my Patreon membership. By becoming a Patreon member, you'll be able to get access to the Big Nickel Over G guide. And in addition to that, you actually get access to all of our Madden strategy guides and any new guides that we release while your membership is active. And you'll also be able to get access to our weekly pro tips that we kind of keep you on top of all things meta. Just got to keep you on top of little things in the game as they develop. So if you want to check that out, again, I'm going to put a link in the description to the membership and you can click on that and go sign up for it now guys i wanted to talk today about pa counter go and how to get pressure against it i think it's one of the best blocking plays um, in madden i'm going to show you why and then we're going to show you what to do about it now we're going to utilize um what i like to do with this is we're actually going to turn our auto flip off we're going to have auto alignment set to base we're going to have ball under defense to play ball, option defense on conservative. And the reason why I like this particular adjustment is because my blitzer, my nickel corner, will actually stay. And it's the cool part about Big Nickel over G is that it has symmetry. And you'll see in this video why that is important. So when we show blitz out of this look here, you're going to notice that we're going to get this guy coming over the top of that number three receiver. We've got this guy in kind of a backed off look. And then we have our nickel corner over here. So nothing really, I mean, and, and you'll see this real quick. If I flip the play, um, it's basically the same thing. The only difference is going to be when I show blitz, you'll see that that nickel corner is going to be just a little wider out. Okay, so that's kind of the idea. And then uh, let's get into the setup for the pressure. So the setup for the pressure um, is really simple, actually. We're going to show blitz. We're going to pinch our defensive line crash our defensive line down we're going to globally blitz our linebackers and then you can QB contain if you want to you don't have to but I like to and then we're gonna stand right here now what I like about this blitz is we're gonna get really good pressure now the other thing that I like about this blitz is we have pretty decent coverage what I like to do on the left side is put my corner in a cloud flat on the right side I typically leave that soft squat because I don't have to worry too much about a matching principle just because it's a nub tight end and what you'll see here at the snap of the ball is we're going to get pressure looping around at the running back from the safety. What's really good about this is that the linebacker on the running back side, um, and I'll show you without containing right here, but the linebacker on this running back side does a really good job of kind of circling him and kind of holding him in. And then you see here one of the two players are going to come, and they're going to come relatively quickly, forcing the quarterback to have to make a quick snap decision. Now, why this is so good, like I said, is that most people, when they run trip side in, especially the best trip side in players in the world, they know that not very many pressure concepts beat this pass protection. But this in particular one is really, really effective against it. Now, another thing that you can do if you want to, this is a little bit more of a um, cheap blitz, but this is a loop concept. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to actually um, go ahead and zone out our slot corner. So you see, we've got to zone the slot corner. We're going to uh, vert hook the defensive end on the right or what we can also do is we can man him up onto the running back so you see here we're going to get man to man coverage on the running back if he goes out on a route and then if he blocks you'll see here sometimes this pressure will kind of disengage and you'll get some cool logic to get that pressure in at the quarterback so this is probably my favorite way to blitz trips tight in just a simple linebacker blitz with this backside safety blitz i think this is probably the best way to blitz trips tight in because you can do all of this from the same look and you see how fast the pressure comes and how consistent it really is now what they have to do to pick this blitz up is they have to con or they have to block their tight end and they have to block their running back but if they do those two things most of the time you're going to see here we're going to get a quick shed off the running back we're going to get a quick disengage and the pressure will still come in it's one of the most consistent ways to blitz trips tight in where you can basically know that the pressure is going to consistently come in for you and you're going to be able to have pretty decent coverage in behind it and the pressure gets on there so fast that it's really difficult to make a read 
want to get one of the other things I do want to quickly say before we take off is make sure that your cloud flatting on that right side that cloud flat is really helpful another little pro tip with this if you wanted to send a double safety blitz like this right here you can do this as well this is really good pressure just make sure to deep half that guy on the right and then drop a curl flat zone something like this right here you'll see here that the pressure will still fly in and now you have kind of a different coverage shell in behind it so there's a lot you can do with big nickel over g we talk about a lot of this in the defensive guide you get some really cool concepts really cool blitzes uh, in there for you so if you want to check that out i'm going to put a link in the description to the defense and you can go check it out down below thanks for watching the video and again if you want to check out that big nickel over g defense just go down to the description of this video click the link down below and you can go join that patreon membership and get all of my man 22 offensive and defensive strategy material